Yo, what's good, family? So today we're going to talk about the difference between trading seconds and trading minutes. All right. One of the main differences is when you trade seconds, um, you putting your account at more risk than when you trade minutes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing wrong with trading seconds if you do it. You know, if you notice people who trade five seconds, even though I used to trade five seconds a lot, I don't trade it as much no more. I still do trade it, but I don't trade it as much as I used to because you're going to place way more trades. If you notice, some people who trade five seconds, even myself have done this. I end up placing 100, sometimes 200 trades, uh, like way up there. Now when I'm doing, you know, um, minutes, you know, I might go as high as like 10, 11 trades. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's all I need. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you will put your account at more risk because you're going to be placing more trades. And that's just, especially with OTC pairs, you're going to be hitting that mug like a whole bunch of times trying to get it to go. And it's just a bad habit. I had a bad habit. I blew some accounts on here doing that on um, five seconds, just constantly hitting that mug a hundred times trying to get it to go afterward. It was just ugly. So they was manipulating it, and I was like, okay. So I had I switched over to the minutes, you know what I'm saying? And, and I've been using them ever since. Another reason why I switched to the minutes is because just in case they decide to take five second trades away, because most um you know, uh, binary options brokers used to only do one minute. So if that was ever the case, I wanted to at least have strategies uh, on one minute to up, you know, that way if they ever took it away, then, you know. But that's usually the main difference. Now, five seconds, like I said, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, you can make money a lot faster. I mean, it's it's in and out and people eat off of it. I ate off of it a whole bunch. Uh, but like I said, I was just putting my account at a lot of risk by trading seconds. So that's that's the thing. Now, you know, minutes, you know, it kind of give me a, uh, it kind of just give me breathing room. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to be as nervous. You know, when you trading five seconds, your nerves and your emotions is in it because it's so quick and it's like the slot machine. But like when you doing like, you know, three, four, five minute trades, two minute trades, you know, you start going up in, in the uh, time frame, then you start getting more comfortable because now... When you get a sniper entry, I mean, it be up there. Like, them candles be up there, so you could just chill. You know what I'm saying? And kind of just relax and let something crazy happen. But other than that, it's just kind of like a flow. So that's, that's you know, why I choose to do minutes now over seconds. That's kind of the main difference. But there's nothing wrong with seconds. Like I said, I still do seconds. And I told y'all to, uh, I do seconds when the market is, like, uh, getting close to the zigzag. Like, it's pushing up. So, for instance, if the zigzag was over here. Let me show you this. Boom. If we was like over here on the zigzag, right? And then this candle starting to push up and it's about to connect. So for instance, let's just pretend that this is the zigzag right here. Boom. And then this candle right here is coming up. Like this candle's coming up, about to connect to the zigzag. I hop in on a bunch of five second trades right here. So by the time it shoot up and connect here, boom, then, you know, I make profit. So that's usually kind of how I do my five second trades now. Um, but I don't do it like a whole bunch like I used to. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, um, let me know in the comment section what kind of videos y'all y'all want to see, man. What, what's gonna help y'all? Cause I'm here for y'all. Like I'm trying to help y'all eat so y'all can get in these markets and kill it. Um, again, if you trade on weekends, y'all, if you are the weekend trading, and I would just be very cautious, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they really going to manipulate on the weekend. They, it's the reason why they give certain incentives and certain bonuses on the weekend because they're going to play around with it. So if you do trade on the weekend, I would say just trade small amounts. Uh, and if you start going big, you're going to notice you're going to start getting cooked up, like for real. <laughs> I'm only telling y'all from experience, y'all. So that's why I, only, I still only trade certain days. But um, yeah. Now let's get into some trades, y'all. I don't want to talk y'all ears off. You feel me? Another thing, though, I got to talk y'all ears off. I can't help it. Listen, another thing, man, I'm noticing a lot of y'all out there are switching up strategies left and right, man. That's going to be your worst. Like, at the beginning, I get it because you, you're trying to figure it out. But a lot of y'all already has something that worked, and you just keep switching it because you see somebody else making big profit doing something else. And it's like, no, nah, stick to what you know. You're not going to be everybody else. Like, let everybody going to have their own way of seeing the market, their own way of doing things. You know what I'm saying? So, if, you know, you see somebody in the group or you see somebody on YouTube making a whole bunch of money with a strategy, it's not really the strategy, y'all. 
it's all coming down to who going to risk the most. Like, that's what it's really going to come down to, bro. It's going to come down to who willing to risk the most. Like, me and my wife, <clears throat> for the most part, got similar strategies, uh, you know, but it's coming down to who who's going to risk the most. Like, she's more riskier than I am. Like, she's going to go and bet two or three thousand dollars on the trade and, and get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to do that all the time. You know what I'm saying? But it works for her and that's dope. But like I'm saying, I don't want everybody in the group to be like, yo, like I need exactly what she's doing. Exactly like you already got all the tools y'all need out there, bro. Don't just quit switching it up. Quit switching all your indicators up. Quit switching back and forth. You're gonna confuse yourself and then it's gonna be it's not gonna be good. So just stick to it. One one or two things and, and just use that forever. All right. Now, someone going to talk to y'all ears. It's been like five minutes. And I've been sh- sh- yapping y'all ears up, but y'all got to hear this. You know what I'm saying? So, now, let me get into some trades, bro, because uh, I want to see what the market talking about. And honestly, this trading stuff get easy. The easier, you know what I mean? The more you do it, it get easier. Um, This one, 15 minutes. Uh, it's going up. That ain't really what I'm looking for at all. Y'all know I'm looking. Boom! This one I'm looking for right here. So the reason why I'm looking at this trade, you can see the stochastic down here. Let me go ahead and draw that. Boom! Stochastic down there. All right, we're looking like we're ready to push up. You know, we're getting close to rejecting here. We got you know support here. If it misses that, we coming back down here. But that's 15 minutes away, so that's gonna be a while. So with that being said, all right. Let me go with, um, I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to start out with a two-minute trade. And we're going to hop in. Oh, I still got this click. We're going to hop in on a 300. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm hopping in on a three is just because I felt like it. You know what I'm saying? Keep it 100. I felt like it. And um, I feel like we're going to be going up. Now, like I told y'all, from here, I do my four-entry rule. All my rules is the same, y'all. So this is why I'm able to eat. Like, I don't really be switching up too much no more. Uh, I kind of just stick what's been working. And I notice that's what works when you just stick to what's been working. You keep switching it up. Just because y'all take L's don't mean the strategies that you got don't work. You know what I'm saying? You're going to take L's, but just got to perfect it. It's all about timing. You know what I'm saying? So one thing I am noticing is that uh some of y'all gotta withdraw that bread, bread. Some of y'all gotta withdraw that look ugly. Some of y'all gotta withdraw y'all money. You know what I'm saying? Like don't leave your money in there too long. Cause then the bigger your account get, the more you're gonna be tempted to go bigger and bigger, and then it get ugly. So start withdrawing, man. Pay yourself. Go out to eat with it or something so you can literally see how it feels to be a profitable day trader you made some money in the market you treated yourself you know i need everybody to at least do that at least once or twice so you get the feel of it and uh questions about withdrawals man y'all be asking me that all the time so just just expect to wait 10 to 14 days y'all which ain't long bro it's not long now you you may get it way before then especially if you're doing smaller amounts but they going to pay you your money, trust me. Like, I've been doing big withdrawals, and I'll wait a week, sometimes a week and a half, but it always comes, so I'm not tripping. Now I just got used to it. Now I'm not even expecting it to come in the same day or in a few hours or in three days. I'm just still trading and making my money, and then when it come, it come. You know what I'm saying? So I would say, y'all, don't be tripping on the withdrawal. Y'all be in there panicking and flipping out. I get it, bread. But just expect to wait a long time. So that way, if it do come fast, then you got it. You know what I'm saying? But if not, it's all good. Y'all see, this was an easy sniper, man. This was just too easy, bro. Like, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? And we can withdraw this bread and go shopping, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, trading is lit. All right? And if you if you use it to your advantage, bro, like... Y'all know, man. Y'all already know. Like, we taking trips, man. We got more trips coming up. We got so much stuff, man. Like, it's just a blessing to be able to do this. And I do it with so much ease now. It's like, y'all just seen it. I looked at the N15 and said, okay, then he had to mark nothing up. Looked at the N15 and said, mm, look like we ready to go up. Stochastic's down there. And boom. Somebody like, how do you know, though? You really don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, it's just an educated guess. That's all trading really is. Like, nobody really knows as much as they say they do. We just following the patterns of what is done before and hoping, you know what I'm saying, that it's going to go that direction again. You know what I'm saying? That's really all it is. Now, like I told you, with OTC, it can be different because they can play around with it a little bit, but that's fine. 
you get more bang for your buck, 92%, and you win that thing. You know what I'm saying? So I say, y'all, look, just get in these trades, man, and really and really get in. Uh, understand, too, that every day is not going to be a good day. Some days you might come out eating. You might come out winning trades nonstop. Some days you might start off bad. One thing I've learned is on the days you start out bad, just stop for the day. I promise you, I did this a hundred times. Like I have a bad, I start out bad and I'm trying to get on the good foot and I can't. And then I end up losing way more than I should have. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a bad day starting out, it just start ugly. Like you can't hit nothing. Just stop. Like don't, if you your first three trades and you just can't hit nothing, go ahead and stop and just cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone. I'm trying to see if anything else is set up nicely for your boy. Uh, I probably could have stayed in what I was in, honestly, but that one getting close, the Johnson & Johnson. Boom, let me see what's on. So this this where I would expect Johnson & Johnson to go right here. Why? Because that's the next zone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm expecting a bounce here, maybe a pull down about two, three minutes, and be done. You know what I'm saying? I'll leave that there. I'll start that and maybe come back to it later. But y'all, listen, I'm telling you, this money is money to be made out here. I want y'all to win. I want y'all to be able to buy the cribs y'all want to buy. I want y'all to be able to buy the cars y'all want to buy. I want y'all to be able to take care of y'all families, y'all friends, or whatever y'all like to do. And man, it's all possible. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first. Keep Jesus first. I'm going to say that 100%. Uh, if you're a Christian-based individual, please do not wake up and get on social media. You know what I'm saying? Wake up. Read your word first. First thing, if you don't understand it, man, um, they got the Bible Project on um, on YouTube. Type in Bible Project and type in the name of the the, the chapter of the book that you're looking at in the Bible, and they'll give you a whole video, like like a cartoon version of like explaining what it is that the scripture is talking about. If you're not understanding it, so it's a million things out here to help you understand. You know, it's so much I understand now about the Word of God and finances, bro. That is like. We supposed to have this bread, you know what I'm saying? Like we really supposed to have it and steward it well and, and give to others and be a blessing. And it's just that's what it's here for. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I don't wanna have a poverty mindset and a and a lack mindset like a lot of people, you know, they just got that lack mindset. This is on the M1, so let's see what the M fifteen looking like. Cause we up there though. Oh, M fifteen, ugly though. I was just on there, huh? That's ugly. Not really sure what we doing. Uh, I mean, we did hit support. Resistance is up here. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Usually, I stay away from these, but I feel like on a on a um, on a longer scale, I could eat. I mean, a shorter scale, I could eat because uh, M one is just up there. I might try like a uh. Let me see, man. Where we at? Uh we could be pushing up here. So I might, I might go ahead and wait. I look like we're going to be pushing about right there. If it don't, I might hop in. Uh, but if it does, then, you know. So now we're looking at that. I'm going to say this. So these two I'm going to be checking out. Let me go back here, see what we're looking like. We ain't quite hit that level yet. And this is why sometimes y'all in the group, like it might take me a minute to call a signal because I'm like waiting. Like some people already get in and eat. But then I I'll be waiting to hit my zone, and and if it don't hit my zone, sometimes I don't get in. But if I feel like, uh, because see this one was down here, and now it's starting to push back up, and this is a Hakanashi, so it got a flat bottom. So if we push somewhere up in here, then I might start my first trade. But until then, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna hold off for a quick second. But yeah, man, that's really all I be wanting to explain to y'all, man, is like stop switching your strategies up. You know, learn the difference between you know five seconds and fifteen. I mean, five seconds and 15 seconds, 10 seconds, and up to minutes. Like, where do you fit in? Would that do what works best for you? Like, I see a lot of people in the group a lot of times be like, oh, well, I'm about to start doing this. I'm about to start doing this because you're doing it. Like, nah, bro, just do what works best for you. Like, everybody's strategy, not you're not probably going to eat directly how I eat in the market, but you might see something that I don't see. You know what I'm saying? You might have a better indicator that works for you. That You know what I'm saying? These are the indicators that work for me. So, you know, just work that thing. A lot of y'all is eating in the group, and I'm proud of y'all because I be watching. I be seeing it, and I'm like, yo, I'm proud of a lot of y'all. Like, only thing is with trading is discipline, y'all. That's the main thing. 
most of the time, a lot of us be up on the accounts. Like, even if it's small amounts, you up on the account. The problem is you're not disciplined enough to either take the money out, you're not disciplined enough to stop trading, and you want to go all day. Like, you want to go all day, all throughout the week, all through the weekend, like, and it's just going to keep blowing them accounts until you figure it out. And eventually, you're going to get tired of losing money, and you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to get more structure on these charts. Like, I'm just going to trade a certain amount of days uh, while I'm up. I'm going to withdraw at a certain point. I'm only looking to take, you know, 10 trades in a week or whatever. It's just going to, you're going to start having more structure and it's just going to be like, okay, cool. So like right now my account is at 12,952. I could say, okay, I'm going to risk 2,952 because I don't mind my account being at 10K if I lose that. Uh, but some people would just go and just go and go and then, they just lose it all. And it's like, why? Stop doing that. I, it sucks to lose. Most people can't afford to keep losing money. You know what I'm saying? So I've been out here yapping y'all ears off, but you know, I give y'all that wisdom. You feel me? Oh, we push into that zone, baby. We push into that zone. Um, Minutes too. People always ask me like, how many minutes should I do? It's really up to you. If you feel like the trade is going to take longer, do a longer time frame. Like, if, if my first two trades, I do four entry rule, my first two trades don't go at a minute, my next one probably going to be two to three minutes or or higher. If, if that third one don't go, that last one probably going to go up another minute or two minutes just to make sure it's going to turn around. You know what I'm saying? And again, if you trade an OTC, sometimes that don't matter because, you know, if they decide they want to play around with your paper, they're going to play around with it. But if you're doing regular Forex um, pairs, then you should be good because unless news hit, get the news app, my, my FX book. But yeah, I've just been waiting around to see if these pairs hit y'all and um, seeing what's going to happen if they do. I'm trying to figure out what other questions y'all be having because I know y'all be having a bunch. You know what I could do if I'm keeping it 100 with myself? Uh, He's looking like he might want to drop. Yeah, we got a flat bottom. All right, let's see what he do. Let's see what he do. Nah, no, he ain't flat no more. See, you can't get faked out because sometimes they'll hit you with, it look flat and then it'll reverse on you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to wait on that. But I'm trying to see what else y'all be asking me, man, because I just want to know. People be asking about my settings all the time. Like, same settings. I mean, two on the multiplier. Uh-oh. We getting momentum. Let's see if we can keep pushing. If not... You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even a flat bottom, so I probably shouldn't have got in, but I feel like that momentum candle was like going. So I was gonna try it anyway. <laughs> you gotta try, you gotta risk it for that biscuit. Uh I need to hit you with one of these. Boom. If we close below here, then we might be alright. If not, we might we might not be good. Up. Uh, uh, are we gonna close below? Uh yeah, yeah. I think we good, y'all. We might be good, baby. We might be good. Give me a little bit more push. Uh, uh they're gonna try to play you, boy. Am I gonna have to double up? Let me see. Oh no, we good. <laughs> we good, baby. Four, three, two, one. Give me my money. Bop. And that's how it's done. You feel me? You feel me? Shout out to y'all for watching for 18 minutes. Um, that's how trading is done, y'all. If it don't break below, if it break, you know, if you got you a little zone in here and it don't break below, and then it don't close below, I mean, then you should you good. But it gave me a flat bottom, it closed below, and it kept pushing. So that's money in the bank. And that's easy money, and that's what I be wanting to tell y'all every day. I'm gonna make this video about 20 minutes, so I got less than a minute left. But um, my words of advice for y'all, man, like, again, stop switching your strategies up. Uh, have a goal, uh, a daily goal that you want to make and be realistic with yourself. Don't overtrade. Um, don't keep, you know, following every single video on Instagram and YouTube, trying to try every single strategy and all these different indicators. You're going to mess yourself up, confuse yourself. You're going to be irritated. And it's like, bro, because I know a lot of y'all tired of losing bread. And you're not really tired until you stop losing it. You know what I'm saying? Until you stop blowing your account. Like, I ain't going to say losing because you're going to lose in trading. But you ain't really tired until you stop blowing your account. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to that point where you're tired of blowing them, you will stop blowing it.
You know what I'm saying? Because we are the only reason why we keep blowing it. Literally, we are the, we are the only reason why we blow the account. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying we because we gotta all put ourselves. I can't just say y'all because I've blown accounts before too. But we are the only reason why it happens. So can't blame the market. Can't blame nobody else. You decide to put them trades in. You decide to risk that uh, that much. You decided to keep trading when you know you should have stopped. And it's like, we all do it. It's really self-control. You know what's going to help with that? Fasting. I'm serious, y'all. Fast. Like, go, if you ain't ever did a fast, you need to. Like, fast. Uh, at least start out with one day with just water. You know what I'm saying? Or water and fruit. And don't eat no food all day. And just pray and ask God what he wants you to do. How he wants you to trade in these markets. What you need to use the money for. Because it's his money at the end of the day, so... You just got to store it well. He's going to keep giving it to you. He gives seed to the sower. So if you're doing right with it, you're going to get blessed. And every time you do right in these markets with it, and you withdraw it, and you distribute it, you know, your 10% to the kingdom of God, which is church. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm preaching to y'all, but I got to. This is what my platform is for. But when you get your 10% and the rest of your money's blessed, man, and you can go out and enjoy it, and you keep staying, you know, being a good steward in these markets and be a blessing, it's going to work out, man. You see how we able to just, first two trades I did, went. Easy money. It's just crazy, man. God has truly blessed my family, my wife. She trading. Like, two people in the household trading is crazy. It's a blessing, man. God is good. I'm proud of y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all keep going. Keep grinding, man. Like, I believe that this year going to be some of the best years y'all ever had in your life. And we got a lot more stuff coming. I got to make an end times video, y'all. There's some crazy stuff going on out here. And y'all need to be making some money because it's going to get ugly really soon you know what i'm saying so that's why i'm trying to get everybody to make as much money as possible because what's coming is not good and you're gonna need some bread for real all right so i love y'all lord willing i'll see y'all another video man i let your boy peace